Our brains ache in the merciless, icy winds that knive us. Wearied, we keep awake because the night is silent. Low drooping flares confuse our memory of the salient. Worried by silence, sentries whisper, curious, nervous, but nothing happens. Watching, we hear the mad gusts tugging on the wire, like twitching agonies of men among its brambles. Northward, incessantly, the flickering gunnery rumbles, far off like a dull rumour of some other war. What are we doing here? The poignant misery of dawn begins to grow. We only know war lasts, rain soaks, clouds sag stormy. Dawn massing in the east, her melancholy army attacks once more in ranks on shivering ranks of grey. But nothing happens. Sudden successive flights of bullets streak the silence. Less deathly than the air that shudders black with snow. With sidelong flowing flakes that flock, pause and renew. We watch them wandering up and down the wind's nonchalance. But nothing happens. Pale flakes with fingering stealth come feeling for our faces. We cringe in holes, back on forgotten dreams, and stare, snow dazed, deep into grassier ditches. So we drowse, sun dozed, littered with blossoms trickling where the blackbird fusses. Is it that we are dying? Slowly, our ghosts drag home, glimpsing the sunk fires, glozed with crusted dark red jewels. Crickets jingle there. For hours the innocent mice rejoice, the house is theirs. Shutters and doors all closed, on us the doors are closed. We turn back to our dying, since we believe not otherwise can kind fires burn, nor ever sun's smile true on child or field or fruit. For God's invincible spring, our love is made afraid, therefore not loathe, we lie out here, therefore we're born. For love of God seems dying. Tonight this frost will fasten on this mud and us, shriveling many hands and puckering foreheads crisp. The burying party picks and shovels in their shaking grasp, pours over half-known faces. All their eyes are ice, but nothing happens.